What's up, you guys? This is Shadow Wolf 810. Still sick. I know. It's amazing. We are here on Shadow Wolf's Featured, and I've got part two of Paratrocity. No, Paratastrophe, my bad, by Darkness Kirby 2. So let's go ahead and get into this. We're going to launch ourselves over the barrier like that with the evade that you have. Oh, by the way, make sure you watch part one before you watch this. There'll probably be a link on the screen or in the description to go and check out the first part. But um, do the evade as you saw like that. <coughs> uh, yeah, now I have a cough too, which is uh, just great for commentating. But go ahead and grab the evade and drop the it down over there. Uh, it's called a drop shield, just for any of you who are unaware, and you're going to want to throw the drop shield underneath there and then evade underneath, and now you're going to go back and grab your drop shield, bring it over here, and throw it so you can go ahead and uh, blow up the trip mine so that you don't, you know, kill yourself, that'd be very bad. Probably could have walked into it and touched it, perhaps, either way. Would have probably worked, but uh, now you're going to stand here and wait for a mo Okay, uh, well, we have a fusion coil. Um, I apologize for not having much editing in this particular video because uh, the base film of him doing it was 20-something minutes long. I think I mentioned that before, and uh, I, I didn't have the patience. I'll be straight up with you. I didn't have the patience to uh, sit there and watch the video for 20 minutes to figure it out. So, any whoozin', you're going to go ahead and uh, use your drop shield, grab that uh, concussive rifle over there. Concussive rifle? That's what it is. Is it a concussion rifle? Whatever. I don't care. I thought it was... Yeah, okay. Don't care. Still. Now uh, you've got another concussive rifle bounce jump thing launch. I don't, I don't even know what it's called. I'm not a uh, elite trick jumper type person, so I apologize for that. But go ahead over here, and you're going to swap out the uh, evade and the drop shield. And it looked like there was a sprint in there for a minute. I don't, maybe, I'm, I think my eyes are going, guys. I could have sworn that drop shield was a sprint, but anyway, uh, use it again. Uh, <clears throat> you'll want to keep the, uh, active camo, yeah, active camo. Uh, this is not a good day for me, you guys. Uh, it's, it's been a log day, trust me. So, anyway, uh, go ahead and heal yourself because you, uh, you know, hurt yourself a lot by launching as such. And you're going to want to go over here. This room looks like a pinball machine. That's just my first first impressions of it. Uh, for any of you who don't know, whenever I do a puzzle map, I'm going to not watch it. And then pay homage, to use a big word, for the uh, for my, the old way I used to do my shuttle videos. So this one, if you're a new subscriber, isn't going to be the norm. The other ones are going to be a lot better and have a planned out commentary topic and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so you saw what he did. He got the hologram, put it in the box, and then blew it up with his uh, laser so that it killed the thing and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so now we're in this room. Go ahead and kill yourself. <clears throat> Should have gotten something to drink before I started a 10-minute commentary. Okay, so go through that com uh I almost said go through that commentary teleporter, and you're going to bounce your way across this, uh, whatever it's called, one-way shield. <coughs> God. <coughs> okay, use your hologram to blow that up. Now you've got some more one-way shield bounciness going down here. Boing. Aw, oh, fail. And then it's going to kill you if you don't hit it, so you'll have to go ahead and not do that. Oh, I'm pretty sure he told me he failed a couple times on this, uh, so I apologize. So let's just talk while we watch him do this, because uh, he apparently... Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> I hope it's not going to be a long time. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to be a good person and pause and then come back when this is ready, because it looks like he's going to be waiting here for a significant amount of time. So we'll be back. Okay, well, it's a good thing I decided to go ahead and look and see how long he failed for that four at whatever, because uh, it was a couple minutes, so we don't want to waste your guys' time here on Shuttles Featured. Basically, you're going to call in your uh, it and it'll get rid of your weapon, and uh, the idea is to throw the turret 
off of the uh, the man cannon here while you're flying off of it and have it hit that trip mine. So a few minutes later, through the magic of editing, goes by in a second-ish, whatever. Technically, it was instantly that it, whatever. So um, <laughs> you can go in here now and get your sprint for that uh, hologram. And then you can sprint jump across all this cool stuff. And jump down here. And then jump down to this part so you don't die. And then wait for your health again. Or not. And then you can... Oh, he's lead. Look at that. He did it in the... Like, he timed his regeneration to happen right in the middle of his free fall. So, anyway. You're going to navigate your way down through this massive scale-ing test. I don't know. It's a rock falling course sort of except with walls eh, I don't know whatever so anyway you're gonna pick up the focus rifle and unblock the teleporter once you navigate your way down through the jumping challenge I guess is the best way to describe it and so now you're back here in this room actually well you're here in this room I don't think you were ever here no you definitely weren't ever here before this so <coughs> <coughs> yeah. it's lovely I know so, use that fusion coil to blow it up, that other fusion coil, blow it up, that other one. Yeah, that's good grammar. Sorry, apparently my brain is uh, functioning at less than normal levels because of my sickness here. So, yeah, being sick sucks, and uh, having to miss three days of school in a row and having to make up all that work sucks. So, anyway, uh, that was just a cleverly placed conversation to... Uh, past the time of him lining up this mongoose so you can armor lock it over this wall here and uh unfortunately it didn't work for him so he's gonna try the other side because the other side has a uh, different magnetic field which affects the way your uh armor lock works and so basically uh by trying it on the other side he was trying to show how good he is but this side will make it usually a lot easier of course um the gravity is also increased on this side a little bit, so you're going to have to get more of a uh, sideways directional force input, whatever, and uh, to actually get it over the wall there. He was just um, a little too far away, but he still managed to pull out the roll over, I guess, because uh, it somehow was managed to be pushed back up onto that countertop. So go ahead and do a magical death dive off your mongoose and then uh, jump off at the last second to narrowly avoid dying. And then uh, you're going to drive through this block, which hopefully won't take like 50 hours. It shouldn't. There's only a couple, like 20, 30 seconds left. Maybe, I don't know. I can't tell. Um, but normally I would have sped through this. But if you are an old Shuttles Featured subscriber, then uh, I'm sure you enjoyed. So be sure to leave some commentary topics ideas that you guys have stuff you want me to talk about in the next episode or next coming episodes i guess uh because i need more ideas so do that down in the comment section i would really appreciate it and uh bump this up on the respawn app if you are watching over there or look in the description for a link to do it because it really helps me out but that's all for now commentary topics and leave a like rating if you enjoyed thank you for watching goodbye